Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. The second video this morning. I've been up since six o'clock this morning, feeling good. Went to bed early last night. Keith here from Come On The Hoops. If this is your first time coming across the channel, like and subscribe below, it'll be fantastic. We're here to talk about the third kit that has been leaked. Has been leaked. Reports all over the place, all over Celtic pages that this is going to be the new kit, third kit for this coming season. The picture was leaked from New York yesterday in an Adidas or Adidas shop, which way you want to pronounce it. Mixed emotions, mixed thoughts. I've seen a lot of people online this morning saying, oh, that's disgusting, that's rank, it's minging. I keep telling people on the channel and I tell people yet again, no one's putting a gun to your head to buy the tour kit. No one's putting a gun to your head to buy the merchandise. At the end of the day, it's the way the marketing is put at you with emails or on social media. If you want to buy that jersey, you buy that jersey. I think it's a nice top. I really believe it's pretty, it's it's actually nice. I like the way it's camouflaged. It's something different. Something different. You know, I haven't seen much teams in the world wearing camouflage kits. Napoli, notorious for that. I think it's something different. You know, um, compared to the two other kits that we've launched this season, the home one, it's the same round neck concept, the same shoulder blade concept. Down the bottom to the other two where around the hips it goes up. That's the new Adidas concept. And yes, it's back to the normal crest compared to the away one where it was the four league clover. I like it. I want to see more pictures of it over the next couple of days. Your best source would be footyheadlines.com. They're usually quite reliable when it comes to kit leaks. Sometimes they do put up concept ones, but I think it's really nice. At this moment of time, I'd probably give it a six out of ten. I want to see the back of it. There's going to be no option for a long sleeve. Adidas don't bring out long sleeve away jerseys anymore, folks. They don't design them. They don't even design them for players. They only bring out long sleeve on goalkeeper jerseys and home tops. So just to reel that out for you is we have one year left. This is our final season of Adidas until Celtic and Adidas come around to the table and give a new design. I think they missed a big opportunity here. They could have bring the Bumblebee top out. That would have been that bigger seller. But the camouflage kit, we'll see what the shorts is like, if it's going to be black shorts or green shorts or if it's going to be black socks. could be different, quite unique. You know, I have been impressed with a couple of the Adidas kits over the last couple of years. I thought the Farley Clover ones, the black one from 20 to 21 was fantastic. The V-neck on it. You know, I thought the dark green one with the Farley Clover with the gold on it was fantastic as well. You know, I like the white one with the pink, pink pinstripes going down as well. I thought last season the black one was pretty decent and that design as well at the tour kit last season wasn't bad as well. You know, there has been pretty decent tops. Even the... Um, the the hundred and twenty five year hoops one was pretty nice, even though the Celtic never wore that. The Irish Origin kits have been decent as well, with the pinstripes of last season, the green one, with the tricolor on the sleeves. You know, even the previous season with the collar, with the, the tricolor on the on the um, arms, and then on the collar, I thought it was really nice. So that has that has been pretty decent merchandise. I think we've been spoiled, but people are complaining about the cost of living. People are complaining, are Celtic going to be going back to one of these clubs where they bring out a home top and the last two seasons? I think them days in football has gone. Luton have been the latest club to bring out the same home, keep the same home top for two seasons so the fans get the best quality, get the best for the money as well. I think I'd love to see Celtic go back to them days where we have the same home top for two seasons because people can't afford it. You know, the cost of living in the world is crazy. And I know I keep saying you, you, no one's putting a gun to your head, but you want to keep up the times. If you really like a kit, you know, you got to think about, oh, I have to pay me bill before I buy a football jersey. £70 pounds is a lot of money to people. A lot of money to people. Especially if you're getting a print on the back of it. Especially if you're getting a long sleeve. And especially if you've kids as well. The fork out that type of money on top of going to games week in, week out. You know, um, buying other merchandise. It's a lot. It's a lot of ass, but... That's the way marketing goes. That's the way football goes, folks. You buy some, you don't buy it all. Some people just buy the polo top and that's it. But let us know what you think of the new camouflage tour kit. And do subscribe to the channel. We're closing at 18,000. The sooner the better so we can stop stressing about it. But um, have a good day, folks. Speak to us all soon. Hell, hell.